Hey everyone, this is Parker Sutar, and today we will learn about uh, cosets. So in this today's session, we will discuss what is a coset, and what is a left coset, what is a right coset, and some of the examples. Okay. So first of all, let us discuss what is a coset. So let Z star be a group, and H be any subgroup of G. Okay. Uh, let capital uh, let small A be any element of G. Right. Then uh, the notation H A. It is defined as set of all h star a such that this h belongs to capital H is called the right coset of h. Now in same manner, uh, if we change the position, so that means a h instead of h a, uh, if we write a h equals to set of all a star h elements such that h belongs to h is called a left coset of G. Okay, so G is a group, h is a, any subgroup of uh, G. Now we need to take any element from the group. Uh, a B N A uh, element of the group, right? G and H A and A H. H A means uh, right coset and A H means left coset. Right coset means set of all this type of elements. Left coset means set of all this type of elements. So as you can see that if we have a right coset, that means H, and we are uh, multiplying or something, or we are operating via right, right? Not multiplication. It can be different operations. So to be specific, operating through right. So that is H A we are here operating to left so it is a h okay now note see uh, if g is an abelian group then h star a equals to a star h so what does that mean that means each uh, right coset of h in g is same as the left coset of h in g if it is an abelian group now we know that what is an abelian group it is a group having commutative property so we can change the order so in that case this left and right cosets are same okay now let us discuss example. So the question is: Let G equals to one minus one i minus i be a multiplicative group. So it is a group, and H equals to one minus one. Then find the left and right cosets of G, uh, H. Okay. So we have G is a group as a subset of G. We need to find left and right cosets of H. It is easy. Now see right cosets of H. They will be what? Here h into one. As you can see that uh, how many elements are there? We have uh, two elements. Okay, so h dot one equals to uh, and the operation is what multiplicative. So the set uh, one into minus one into one. So it will be same. Now h into minus one. So the uh, the signs will be changed. So minus one and one. Now in same manner, this h into i. Uh, how many elements are there uh, here? See, uh, we need to take uh, the elements from the G, okay, and we need to operate to H. So H into I, so it will be I and minus I, and last H into minus I equals minus I and I. So whatever the elements are there in G, uh, those many steps will be there. So these are the right cosets of H. Now in same manner, left cosets of H. So we'll multiply it from left. So one into H, so it will be same. In same as it is a multiplicative uh, group, so both the answers will be same. So minus one one uh, i minus i and minus i i. So actually left and right cosets are same. So that means it is a commutative group. So we can conclude that. Now note, see uh, if the composition in the group has been denoted additively. So here instead of multiplication we have addition. Then the right coset the the, the notation will be what. H A equals to H A, such that H belongs to H, and in same manner, left coset will be what? Uh, instead of A star H or instead of A H, we will write A plus H equals to A plus H, where H belongs to H. So these are the notations in case we have the additive uh, operation, right? Let us discuss example. So the question is: Let G equals to Z plus be a group, and H equals to three Z plus is a subgroup of G. Now find the left and right cosets of H for an element 0, 1, and 2. So they have specified three elements 0, 1, and 2. Okay. So we have G as Z plus is a group, 3 Z plus is a subgroup, and we need to find the left and right coset of 0, 1, and 2. Fine. So now the elements of G and H, they are what? As you can see, that the G will consist of what? All the elements, all the integers, that is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Now in same manner, H will contain the elements 
uh, which are multiples of 3. So that means 0, 3, 6, 9, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9 and so on. Okay, so the elements will be like this. C, we have 3 elements. So for 0 belongs to G. Okay, so H plus 0, the right cosets. It will be what? Uh, yeah, and the plus is the notation. So H plus 0, it, we are, what we'll do? We'll uh, add 0 to all the elements. So it will be same. Now in same manner, for 1 belongs to G. So it will be what? 1 plus 0, sorry, H plus 1 equals to what? Uh, the whole set, we are adding 1. So minus 8, minus 5, minus 2, 1, 4, 7, 10, and so on. Now in same manner, for 2 belongs to G. So H plus 2 will be what? Uh, minus uh, we are adding 2 to each and every elements so minus 7 minus 4 minus 1 and so 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 these are what the right cosets okay now we have g equals to this and s equals to again this now for left cosets so for g belongs to g now in same manner 0 plus h so it will be same now for 1 belongs to g so 1 plus h it will be minus 8 minus 5 minus 2 and so on so that means we are adding 1 uh, from uh, from the left to the whole set but uh, it won't change right the answers won't change for right as well as for left now in same manner 2 plus h it will be like this so as you can see that both the answers are same so we can conclude it is an abelian group okay now let us discuss another example so let g equals to z8 and determine all the left cosets of H that is given here 0, modulus 0 and modulus 4 in G. Okay, so first what we'll do uh, here as we have Z8 and the modular function. So we'll create one table. So like this. As we have Z8, so the elements will be from 0 to 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this type of table we have already created in previous sessions. So let us... Uh, understand very quickly and here in row it will be from 0 to 7 see uh, as we have here plus 8 so that means modulo 8 so oh, how to calculate this table so first consider see uh, 0 plus 0 so that means 0 and we will divide it by 8 and the remainder whatever the remainder we are getting the answer will be here so 0 plus 0 divide by 8 so that means remainder will be 0 now in same manner 0 plus 2 so 2, 2 divided by 8, so the remainder will be 2. Now 0 plus 3 divided by 8, so it will be 3. So this row is obvious. Now consider this. Now 1 plus 7, so that is 8. Now 8 divided by 8, so that is 0. So, uh, sorry, 8 divided by 8, so the remainder will be 0. Now in same manner, 3 plus 6, so that is what? 9, 9 divided by 8, so the remainder will be 1. Now in same manner, here it will be 2. Consider this 7 plus 5. So that is 12 now 12 divided by 8 so the remainder will be 4 so this is how you can calculate this table okay so we need to find the left cosets of h so first uh, it is defined as this a h equals to what a star h so it says that h belongs to h and that is the, it is the definition now the left cosets so that means 0 h we have uh, 0 h equals to what 0 plus Eight. So that means 0 modulo 8 0 and 0 modulo 8 4 as we have only two elements that is 0 and 4 So first it will be like this 0 H so 0 Why 0 because it is the left coset and we are operating 0 so here 0 uh, modulo 8 and 0 This 0 is from uh, the set 0 4 now 0 modulo 8 4 now 0 plus 0 divided by 8 so it is 0 and 0 plus 4 divided by 8 so the remainder is 4 and same manner 1h so that means left uh, here everything will be same but here the left ones uh, will be different as we have here 1 so it will be here 1 now 1 plus 0 divided by 8 so the remainder is 1 now 1 plus 4 divided by 8 so the remainder is 5 so this is 0h this is 1h now in same manner 2h so here the change is only this this 2 2 so we will get 2 6 here same manner the change is only this so in same manner 4h 5h 6h and 7h so this all are the left cosets of uh, the given 0 and 4 okay consider this 7h uh, 7h that means z, uh, 7 uh, modulo 8 and 0 
7 multiplied 4. So 7 plus 0 divided by 8. So the remainder is 7. And 7 plus 4 divided by 8. So the remainder is 3. So this all are the left cosets of the edge. Right. So this is how you can find the left cosets. Now in same manner, if you want to find the right cosets. So what will be the change? So instead of 0 edge, we will have edge 0. So that means here. Uh, these entries, uh, the second entries will be changed. So here it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and here the same manner 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and here the left entries will be 0 and here the left entries will be 4. Fine. Thank you.